In this walkthrough video, we will take a look inside Lynx Yacht's Crossover 27, a stunning motor yacht that seamlessly blends luxury and seaworthiness. At 27 meters long and with a displacement of 120 tons, this yacht boasts sleek lines and contemporary styling that make it stand out on the water. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Note just how big the swim platform is and the port and starboard staircases which lead up onto the aft deck and the large hydraulic door on the transom that leads down into the lazarette. The main deck is one of the standout features of the Lynx Yachts Crossover 27 motor yacht, offering a spacious and impressive 70 square meter area for guests to enjoy. With a beam of 7.1 meters, this area is designed to make the most of the available space, providing a stunning and expansive open space for entertainment, relaxation, and taking in the panoramic views of the surrounding sea. The hydraulic crane on the main deck has a lifting capacity of 3.6 tons with a 6 meter reach. This area is versatile and highly functional with ample room to stow multiple tenders and toys. However, once clear, the main deck becomes a true entertainment hub, perfect for hosting guests and socializing in style. After the superstructure, a convenient access gate provides easy and safe access for crew and guests getting on and off the boat. Now let us head forward along the port side deck as we ascend four steps towards the pilot's house. The side decks are durable and slip resistant, providing a secure surface for crew and guests to walk on. To starboard we find a ladder that leads up onto the upper deck, where the boat's jet skis and life rafts are stowed. This boat has an impressive total of four jet skis. Now let us head towards the distinctive rounded bow, where we find the deck gear for the two anchors and a seating area. As you can see the vessel is fitted with two anchors, each weighing around 231 pounds. Having two anchors rather than one provides increased stability, reduces the risk of swinging and enhances safety. If you own a yacht then you know that safety is crucial to any on water experience. That's why I offer a range of state of the art systems in my YouTube store including CAI's Sea Sentry system which is designed to enhance your yacht's safety and security. So be sure to check out the selection below this video on your screen once the tour is finished. Here we get a great view of the boat's large forward raking windows and the overhang from the upper deck that provides some great shade for the pilot house and the seating area. Before we head inside, let's go back over to the port side and use the ladder to check out the boat deck where the four jet skis and life rafts are stowed. As we emerge onto the boat deck, we get a great view of the boat's well-equipped radar mast. Personally, I also really love the angular shape of this part of the superstructure. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It's also worth pointing out that the owner of this boat is an avid water sports fan, which is why there are so many jet skis and so much space for tenders. Gazing up at the radar mast, we can see a large searchlight, track vision dome that keeps the antenna safe from the elements, GPS aerials and other aerials. I think these sleek modern vertical aerials are for the vessel's internet, but I could be wrong. As mentioned before, one of the vessel's life rafts is stowed up here and can be found on the port side. Don't forget to check out my Amazon store if you need to update or replace any of your safety gear. You will find a link in the video description. The jet skis and other water toys are launched and recovered using this crane that has a lifting capacity of one ton at a reach of 4.2 meters. If we now head over to the aft section of the boat deck, passing the starboard life raft and peer over the side, then you'll get a great view of the awning that can be erected to provide a fantastic shaded area for guests enjoying the aft deck. The saloon is a luxurious and spacious living area that offers a range of features and amenities for guests to enjoy and provides ample space for relaxation and socialising. It features large windows providing plenty of natural light. The decor is elegant and modern with high quality finishes and materials that give the space a refined and sophisticated feel. The galley is functional and well equipped and provides all the amenities and features necessary for preparing delicious meals. Let's explore the luxurious accommodation below deck before moving on to the impressive pilot's house and engine room. 
With its refined design and elegant finishing, the accommodation area is the perfect place to relax and unwind after a day of exploration on the water. On this remarkable motor yacht you'll find two beautifully appointed double guest cabins, each with its own ensuite bathroom. With their elegant design and luxurious finishing, these cabins provide a welcoming and comfortable retreat for guests to relax in style. I particularly like and am a big fan of the huge shower. The cabins have a very cosy and spacious feel and I could easily spend a few weeks on board this boat with my family as we punch through choppy seas towards our next destination. Now we're headed back out into the main passageway to send some stairs before going into the master cabin, which on this boat is located on the port side forward of the engine room. There are some crew cabins on this boat, but because we were at a boat show and the cabins were being used, I couldn't get access to them at the time of filming. I love this miniature model of the YXT24 Evolution. The YXT24 is a shallow draft, robust and sturdy boat that is designed to go anywhere and maximise the customization opportunities for an owner to create their ideal version of the 27 meter. Let's head over to the aft section of the master cabin to check out the ensuite. The master bathroom aboard the Lynx Yachts Crossover 27 is a true work of art and I really love this huge sit down shower. With its elegant design and high quality finishes, this luxurious space offers the perfect combination of style and comfort. Before we take a look inside the impressive engine room and of course the pilot's house, let's have a look inside the final guest cabin. With its roomy and well lit layout, this cabin offers plenty of space for relaxation and rest, ensuring guests can recharge comfortably and in style. So whether traveling solo or with a friend, if you are lucky enough ever to be invited aboard the Lynx Crossover 27, then the single twin cabins aboard this vessel are the perfect place to unwind and get some well-deserved rest. Remember, as with most super yacht explorers, the interior spaces are customizable. The boat is fitted with twin Caterpillar 850 horsepower engines. They give her a top speed of 14 knots with a cruising speed of 12.5 knots and an eco speed of 10 knots, which is slightly above average for most steel displacement yachts. When motoring at her top speed, the boat consumes 320 litres an hour, but that drops down to 100 litres an hour when motoring at her eco speed. Cruising at 12.5 knots consumes around 170 litres per hour. When it comes to range, this crossover 27 has a range of 3,000 nautical miles when motoring at her eco speed. Increase the speed to 12.5 knots and the range drops to 1,350 nautical miles and at a top speed of 14 knots, the range is around 800 nautical miles. Whilst I couldn't find any stats in relation to her range when cruising at 8 knots, I would imagine it's in excess of 3,500 nautical miles. And finally, the pilot's house. As well as having twin engines, this boat also has a bow and stern thruster. The owner is also certified to captain this boat, which I think is great. It also means that being a custom yacht, Lynx Yachts would have sat down with the owner to work out his preferred layout when it comes to the navigation and comms equipment, including the engine controls. I can safely say that I love lots of screens and lots of displays, and if you want proof of that, then just ask Super Yacht Captain. So looking at the helm station on here with its four multifunction displays, I must say I could spend hours upon hours in here whilst the vessel's underway. With so much information on display and everything within easy reach, it'll be quite easy to keep a watch up here on your own whilst you're motoring along to your next port of call. On the overhead control station, we find all the engine management and performance information, as well as the controls for the two Cummins Onan generators. Down here, we have the multi-function display for the vessel's lighting and deck lighting configurations. And I love this sporty carbon fiber ship's wheel. But what do you think of this pilot's house? Let me know in the comments below. I really like this boat. To understand its purpose, you have to keep in mind that the owner, who is a massive water sports fan, clearly is more interested in spending time on the upper deck and on the water than below deck. 
This is the sort of boat that you can get on and within a relatively short period of time, head to the perfect jet skiing or wakeboarding spot, where you can then spend weeks or days enjoying the water with your guests. And really, that's what boating in warm and sunny climates is all about. I'd like to say a big thank you to Lynx Yachts for allowing me on board and to shoot this footage. And remember, if you have access to a boat that you would like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to get in contact with me. You'll find my contact details in the video description. If you haven't already, don't forget to give the video a like and to subscribe to my channel. The videos in front of you on the left are some of my videos that YouTube thinks you will love. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to join my channel as a member, then click on the link pinned in the comments below.